Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff, and this is third part of our to-do list app using Firebase as a backend. In the previous part, we have successfully saved data in Cloud Firestore. Now, in this video, we'll try to retrieve it and we'll display it in Recycler View. Okay, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, do so. Link is in the description box, and I post uh, some stuff related to programming and Android there. And also, if you have some major problems or major issues, you can DM me on Instagram as well. So, in order to retrieve the data, uh, first we have to create one model class. So, just hit on your package new and I'll select a package. Let's name it as model and new. We'll create a new class. So, I'll name it as a to do model. okay so in this class we have to create few variables uh, let me show you so i have opened up uh, google chrome and my cloud firestore so as you can see we have task as a collection and inside that we have documents that is a random id so we'll be requiring this as well so i'll let you know how we can get this id and then we have these fields inside each document as a due status and task. So make sure uh, these field names and the variables name in our model class should be match. So first we have private, uh, let's say string and task. And I guess we have due. And then we have private int status of checkbox. And then I'll just click on generate, create getters, select all of this, hit on OK. Okay, so now uh, we'll be requiring this uh, document ID when we'll edit the task or when we'll delete the task that we will do in the next part. But uh, we can create one class to get that ID for us. So just hit on this model and new Java class. Uh, let me name it as task ID. So we have done this uh, previously in Instack blog app tutorial. So first thing we have to do, uh, we have to use exclude annotation. And below this we'll create one string. So public string, we'll name it as task ID. Uh, so whatever the manipulation that we'll do with our Firestore data, uh, this won't be affected. This ID won't be affected. That is the meaning of this exclude annotation. This will just exclude this uh, task ID from all the ma manipulations of data. Then what we have to do, we have to create a generic. So public T extends to task ID or class name. And T with ID. Here we have to use annotation non null. It will be not nullable. Final string ID. So we we'll write uh, this dot task ID equals to the ID that will be passed from main activity to here, and then we'll just uh, return in brackets t this. Okay. So that's it for this class. And now in the to do model class, what we'll do? will extend this class to task ID. Okay, so that will be okay. Now what we need to do, uh, just hit on the package new. We'll create another package for our adapter class. So we'll write adapter and then click on adapter new Java class. We'll name our adapter as a to do adapter. And this will extends to Recycler view dot adapter again. We have to pass generics here as well, but before we'll create inner class. So, public class, let's say my view holder. This will extend to recycler view dot view holder. Press alt enter to create constructor and then we'll pass this class over here. So, my view holder. Okay, then I will press Alt Enter to implement three methods. Okay, 
so private will create first list of to do model let's name them as to do list and then private main activity will create context variables activity then i guess we will require firebase instance so firebase fasto let's name it as a fasto and we'll create constructor of this class as well so public to do adapter and this will take two parameters first uh, let's pass main activity main activity or we can name it activity then list of to do model to do list and then we'll just set them so this dot to do list equals to to do list then we have activity equals to main activity okay so that's it i guess so now uh, we'll jump to get item count and here we need to pass the list size so to do list dot size now in the my view folder we'll collect our widgets ids okay so we have this checkbox and one text view so one text view and due date tv okay then we have checkbox we'll name it as m checkbox okay so before finding the ids uh, let's just uh, inflate the layout first so we'll create one view view equals to layout inflator dot from we need to pass activity dot inflate a dot layout dot each task then we'll pass parent and then attached to root will be false then we'll return new my view holder and here we pass this view that's it okay so now i will jump to constructor of inner class so here what we need to do m due date tv equals to item view dot find you by id r dot id dot uh, i guess due date tv and then we have the m checkbox so m checkbox equals to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot m checkbox okay so now we just need to implement this on bind view holder method so first uh, we have to instantiate our file store so file store equals to firebase file store dot get instance okay so then uh, in on bind view holder first we'll create instance of our model class so to do model let's name it as a to do model we'll call our to do list dot get and we'll pass in the position so it will give so it will return us a correct item then we'll call holder and our checkbox dot set text so the text will be to do model dot get task then holder dot m checkbox let's uh, first set our due date so this will be set text to do model dot get due and again we can just concatenate this like due on okay so this will be fine so now we just need to work on uh, the status or checkbox status so holder dot and checkbox dot set checked and here we need to pass to do model dot get status so yeah this is showing error because we are passing int here but uh, this set checked method takes true or false uh, boolean value so we need to convert this uh, int value to boolean so for that we will create another method that will be private and this will return boolean of course we'll name this method as to boolean and here we'll just pass something so and status and this will return as if the status is not equals to zero 
so if uh, the status is not equal to 0 means it is 1 then it will return true or else it will return uh, false okay so we just need to call this method over here so 2 boolean 1 parenthesis here okay so that's cool now folder dot again we need to take care of this uh, checkbox uh, real time changes so m checkbox dot set on checked change listener i guess yeah this one new on checked change listener so we have to implement this method on checked change so here we'll just check if uh, this is checked and we'll also have to write else part to this so if this is check then we'll call our file store dot collection and we need to pass the collection name that is tasks and then the document so the document will get from to do model dot task id dot update update uh, then the field that we want to update that is status and the value will be one okay as you can see and then in else pastor dot collection we need to pass tasks dot document again same to do model dot task id dot update and we'll pass status comma zero okay okay so that's pretty much stuff for to do adapter class now we'll jump to main activity class and we'll try to retrieve the data so first we have to create instance of firestore let's name it as a firestore and we need to initialize this as well so firestore equals to firebase firestore dot get instance and i think we'll require the adapter as well so private to do adapter let's name it as adapter and after this will call adapter equals to new to do adapter again we need to create a list as well private list of type to do model to, to do model and let's name it as m list so m list equals to new array list and then we need to pass context so main activity dot this and m list we can call our recycler view dot set adapter and here we'll pass our adapter so for retrieving the data we'll create another method so let's call it private uh, void show data and also we can do we'll call that method over here okay faster dot collection and here we need to pass the collection name that is task and then add snapshot new event listener okay so in here we just need to use for loop first so for a document change let's name it as a doc document change till the value dot get document changes so here we have to check if the document change dot get type is equals to document change dot type added then first uh, we'll just retrieve the id so string id equals to the document change dot get document dot get id and then when you call our to do model class so to do model let's name it as a to do model equals to document change dot get document dot to object and here we need to pass our to do model dot class dot with id and here we'll pass that id okay so this is how we retrieve the document id then what we'll do we'll call our m list and we'll add this to do model there then we can notify our adapter that data set had been changed and we'll call the collection collections dot reverse and here we'll pass our end list okay 
so I guess uh, that's it now it's time to run the app and we'll see uh, it retrieves or not so I'll hit on this run button so yeah I I made one mistake uh, uh, or app installed but it doesn't display any data because because of this task so let me show you in my uh, to-do list app project uh, you can see the collection name is task but this there is tasks so that was the issue so let me just uh, rename this as a task and in our adapter it should be task this should be task as well maybe i just uh, i guess i guess i opened a wrong project in firebase console so that's why okay but if i hit run button now yeah i guess uh, it will show data now so yeah, as you can see task 1 and task 2 as in our cloud faster as well so task 2 our due date is 3 4 as you can see our due date is 3 4 2021 and task 1 2 4 2021 okay so it's working and let me add some more data sorry okay so let me add some more data like if I write task 3 don't save as you can see our nearest task is displaying at the top because we use collection dot reverse so if I let me just open task 3 okay this one so we have to fix this uh, if div is null then will will not display this div on or any stuff so uh, as you can see here status is 0 but if as soon as I click on this so status has been updated and again if I just clicked on it again so status has been updated so it is working fine uh, and in the next video we will see how we can update this uh, task and delete the task and also we'll get rid of this due on okay so that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching